Amber from ShelfAddiction.com and I'm here today with my June and July book haul. So we have a lot of books so we're going to get straight into it. Um, let me know below if you have any of these books, if you read them, if you have any opinion on them I'd like to hear. I do plan on reading all of these books at some point or another <laughs> so you know it'd be fun to have a heads up. So let me know if you guys have read any of these so we'll get started. Okay, we'll start with the ones that I got in my mailbox. Um, most of these, most, yeah, majority of them except one, um, came from a publisher. Uh, one came from an author. So the first one is My Education by Susan Choi. In this book, um, let's see, I think this came from Viking. It did. And I actually read this already and I have a review on my blog and I'll post the link below. This was an interesting read. It was something I had never read about. It's pretty much about um, this woman who like has a crush on a professor at her university but she ends up not having an affair with the professor but the professor's wife. <laughs> So this is definitely a twist on things and it's it's interesting. So check out the review. Uh, the second book is The Lemon Orchard by Luann Rice. This is a pretty cover, isn't it? Anyway, um, yeah, I have not read this one yet, but I plan on it. It looks pretty interesting, actually. Um, Yeah, it's, I think it's a romance. It definitely is a romance. So, I mean, it looks fun for summer, so maybe I'll get it in before the end of the summer. We'll see. I make no promises, though. I also got Songs, Willow Frost, a novel by Jamie Ford. And you all will know Jamie Ford from his book, um, Ho The Hotel on the Corner of Bitter and Sweet. And that book was really good, so I'm looking forward to this one. Um, I like his writing. You know, it's kind of a, it's probably going to be a little bit of um, historical fiction because, again, this one is about a Chinese American as well as his other book. So if you read that one, you probably would have, would like to read this one. Actually, this one is a, um, ARC, an uncorrected advanced reader's edition. It doesn't go on sale until September 10th, so you probably haven't obviously read this one yet. But Then I received, remember, Waiting to Heck Exhale by Terry McMillan? Well, she is back. She has another book, a new book called Who, Are, Who Asked You? And you know, I have not read anything from her in a very long time. Um, I'm excited about it. This actually goes on sale September 17th, so this one isn't available yet either but if you want a copy or if you you know got one from the publisher and you've read this already let me know because I mean I used to love her stuff back in the day but it's just been a long time since I've read her and you know I think this is like her everything we expect from her it seems like it's going to be a lot of drama um, with families and things like that so if you've read her before you know sort of what to expect then I picked up a few things from Epic Reads. They have a uh, bi-weekly tea time chat on Wednesdays and one week I actually, excuse me, I actually won a few books and I was excited about that. I won these two books. They are both young adult because obviously Epic Reads is all about young adult. I won Rush by Eve Silver, and I've heard tons of good things about this book. And you know this cover art's pretty too, isn't it? Anyway, I've heard tons of good things, so I plan on reading this, I don't know, soon, hopefully. Hopefully before the end of the summer. And then I got Vortex by S.J. Kincaid. And this is actually, I think, the second book in a series. I did not read the first one, so I'll have to read the first book. I can't remember what it's called. I looked it up, but it's escaping me right now. Um, yeah, I'll have to read the first book before I dive into this. But guys, let me know if this series is good. And then, let's see, 
an author sent me the Phoenix Rising Destiny Calls and the author is Phoenix Ariel I believe that's how you pronounce the name I apologize if that's incorrect but um, I'll be reading this and reviewing this probably in October it looks pretty good it's different looks like it's a different take on it looks like it's paranormal but I'm not 100% sure but regardless I, I committed to reviewing it so I will so check back on my blog sometime in October for a review of this book and that's that one and then um, a co-worker actually gave me this book it's um, Metro Girl by Janet Ivanovich and I have not read um, Janet Ivanovich in a very long time um, I believe this is the author of the oh my gosh what's that woman's name they made a movie of one of her books um, she has a series like that goes by one two three four five six you know etc I can't think of a woman's name right now but she's popular for that series and I'm sure someone will tell me what it is in the comments because it's escaping me right now but what I have read from her in the past I did not read those books but I've read a couple of other um, small like trilogies maybe or small series that she co-wrote with other people so I've read those by her but nothing by her alone so I don't know this looks interesting but you know I looked at a few reviews and they kind of say it's reminiscent of the other series so I don't know if you've read this let me know what you thought also I picked up um, two um, Candace Bushnell books from the Carrie Diaries book one and book two and basically if you're a fan of Sex in the City they're saying you'll be a fan of this as well. These look like they are the TV cover, tie, um, the TV show tie-in covers. They're not the original covers. But um, stay tuned. At the end of this video, I'll be doing a giveaway for these two books. So if you want them, they are new, brand new, never read. I'll be giving these away to one subscriber. So stay tuned for that.